Yo, your favorite Terry Little Bacon Bear hanging out with two winners of KYS versus Mr. Malik Devon and OTR Cam. Thanks, man. Thank you for having us. Of course. Congratulations on your win. My horns. Nah, 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 nah. Um, Malik, tell me about Enter KYS versus how'd your record get in? Wow, this started back in February. All my friends and both of my managers, Daryl and G. Washington, they told me, like, Bacon Bear is killing it. She's supporting local artists. You need to sign up for this versus. And when you got the right record, I think you should submit it. So literally a week before I submitted it, my, my friend and his girlfriend called me like, you need to join this contest. So I had this record called Phoenix. It was a dope R&B record. And I was like, I need Cam on it because she's a dope singer. And she killed it. She laced it. And we sent you the email and the rest is history. Now, Cam, tell me about yourself because, you know, we didn't get to your feature, but we will get to it today. Tell me about you. Uh, basically, um, I'm OT by Cam. Uh, I go to school at Morgan State University. Um, I've been doing music for about two years now, and I just uh, got management from George and Daryl as well. So that's how I met Malik. And um, he had just threw me the song, and I was like, okay, I'm going to see what I could do. And I had something written for it. So I just tried it, and it sounded great. So we went with it. And um, I'm also a musical engineer. So, um, yeah. You're probably the second uh, lady engineer that I've come across now at this point, and I definitely send cheers to you because for real, it takes a special ear to be an engineer, but definitely a special place for a woman to be. So I definitely cheer you on in that. So you said you go to Morgan. Yes, I go to Morgan. Really? Come on now. And what are you studying? Um, I just changed it to uh, business and marketing. Business so, and marketing. Because I also uh, have my own clothing brand. I could see that. Yeah, this is my shirt. Ooh. <laughs> romantic 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 obsession mm. romantic obsession that sounds toxic as hell anybody's <laughs> that that sounded toxic yeah. romantic obsession yikes <laughs> but i do like your shirt cam i appreciate that um malik do you call yourself an r&b singer like that is that what you self-proclaim or just artists all around i'm a rapper i just be writing to like a lot of hip-hop and r&b centered records so it okay. was like those are the like friendly beats that I get. So I'm mainly a rapper, but I could do like lyrical music with substance or, and I have fun with a lot of R&B records, of, of course, but I think I'm far from a sing. I'm more so a rapper. You know, I feel like people cover a lot of bases and I'm definitely getting to a point where I can't just be like, are you a singer? Or are you a rapper? Because everybody's doing all of those things. Where do they meet in the middle for you? They meet in the middle for me as well. I try to like cater to a certain audience and give real perspectives. When I song write, I try to write from a place where people can relate to and I try to be so flamboyant. So when I write these records, I know that this person can relate to it. This audience can gravitate towards it. Even with like records that represent the struggle or like love, the ups and downs, I know people can gravitate towards it. So it's like, just kind of like this humble and like genuine part that we all kind of can come together and relate to. What story are you trying to tell about yourself? Who is Malik Devon? Malik Devon is a person who really- Devon? I've been saying Devon this whole time, Devon. Okay. Hey, Davon, Devon, um, people been saying it, so it's like tomato, tomato at this point. Okay. Even, as long as you say it, I'm fine with that. Um, That's a good way to see it. It's just like a person who's been grinding for such a long time. I've been rapping since 2014, literally the summer I graduated high school. And like, I had a meeting with 93.9. I've been like really trying to put this together and build a team. And now it's kind of coming all full circle at this moment. And ironically enough, the music is sounding the best at this moment. So kind of everything happens for a reason. So I'm just like grateful that people support and that people come with me on this journey. Tell me about being an independent artist and some of the work that goes into, you know, getting your record to where it needs to be. Because a lot of artists will ask me to do this or do that, but I, I turn it back on them and ask them about the work that they've done and what else they can do to support their work so that I can support it easier. Oh man, it's really like a full-time grind 24 seven. And you gotta be like your biggest support system. Like you gotta believe in yourself from like the jump, the get go. So like I always was super lyrical, but people told me like work on your delivery, work on this, cater records towards this audience, do this, understand what marketing is about. So mm. when I got better and I started to really grow in my potential. I realized this is what I need to do to get the job done. And you need to provide, you need to take a, like, you got to take that risk on yourself. You got to bet on yourself. You got to dump the dollars in it, the marketing, the finance. So that's really why I'm at now is really trying to understand the business behind it and really what it's going to take to like, because you can have just as much music as the next man in, in this city and the DMV, especially everyone's a rapper. It's just basically how you, how you doing it, how you, how, how the record's cutting, who behind you, what's the marketing dollars, how you trying to progress and how you trying to move forward. But 
you're gonna go through every emotion with it it's just how much you believe in yourself that's facts now cam tell me about so you do music but then you're also in school and i can never understand like how you balance everything like when an artist tells me they're doing both i'm like i could barely walk and talk at the same time it's really hard it's really hard you you really have to find the time to be in your classes especially when it was online because i haven't even been on campus yet so oh yeah so that honestly made it easier for me when i get on campus i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> so this your this is gonna be your first semester in the fall yeah oh, it's gonna be my second well in, per- in person yeah first yeah in person so i'm trying to get lit i'm trying to make connections you know and just uh make beautiful music with new people because i'm an artist but you know i'm also an engineer so I want to eventually, you know, get my own roster of artists and just work with them. What are some of your goals other than that? Because that's definitely an interesting piece there, just to say that you want artists. Yeah. Oh, I want to make a, a whole OTR label because, like, uh, basically OTR is only the real, and it's a group of independent artists just trying to work together. And I, I just want to add to that, and, you know, do what I can because I'm also um, a lyricist. So I don't just uh, write for myself. I also write for other people. So I just, I just want to make beautiful music. If it looks like I'm thinking, I'm trying to, I feel like I've met someone else from the OTR camp or maybe it was you, but I, I feel like it's, 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 I keep running past it in my head and I'm, it's going to come to me, but I feel like I've seen your name before. Or maybe we've talked, have we met before? No, I don't believe we have. You look familiar as well, but I don't know. <laughs> maybe we got in a fist fight in elementary school or something. Yeah. It's like, no, it's like, no, it's like, no. <laughs> Well, that's exciting. Um, I think everybody always says that hearing themselves on the radio is like an exciting experience. And it definitely is still exciting for me. But when you were hearing yourself when Malik, what was that like? Um, it was uh, the first time I was thinking like initially, wow, how can I do this five times in a row? How can I do this five <laughs> nights? Like, is my people going to call in my supporters? But they did. And like, it was just like a wonderful feeling. I was just thinking like, now I really got some ears and we could just take things forward. Like, this is not only like a, a good stepping stone, but it's like an entry level in the game. Like they find, like I've been throwing rocks at this wall for years and now they finally like let me in. So like now we can make the most music possible. That's gonna sound good. So that's like, it, it was just like a surreal experience in a way as well. And Kim, what was it like when you were hearing, you know, that part, but you're gonna hear the other part now. I mean, I heard a little bit of my feature from before. So it was just unreal to even hear myself at all. Like, cause I just was like, I knew I was gonna be on the radio, so I'm sitting there preparing myself, and I'm just like, okay. But then once I actually heard it, and people started calling my phone, like you on the radio, it just it was surreal. It felt amazing. Like I just want to do it fifty times. Like, for real. <laughs> she said, "I want to do it fifty times." Well, I could put you through a fifty round match. I don't know where somebody go lose because somebody that'd be, overtakes the other. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Fifty round gauntlet. That's like a gauntlet. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to hear the same song 50 times. I don't think nobody else want to hear the same song 50 times. I'm voting. To, I would be voting to hear somebody out at that point. For like, sure. get somebody else. <laughs> Make the but last respect. I'm glad I could, you know, get this opportunity for you guys and provide this opportunity. Um, Are you guys open to collabs? And uh, Cam, are you open to, like, taking more artists for, like, engineering? Like, are you open for sessions? Yeah, I'm open for sessions. Uh, there is a fee. I do uh, 30 an hour right now. No, we not we not even gonna we not even gonna we not oh, even right. gonna corner them like that. All right, well yeah. Cause can't cause she said it was actually a hundred dollars an hour because she worked it. <laughs> so For that's sure. just what I heard though. Okay. But For we sure. can you know everybody could work a deal with her, maybe something, you know, but you gotta sign off in her DMs to maybe communicate with her about that. Yeah. Yeah. Cam. This is this is my marketing. Oh yeah, I can y'all can follow me. I just dropped the tape as well. It's called Lost in It All. It's on all platforms. But you lost in it all. <laughs> I'm trying to find my thing. Do you think that you were lost in the pandemic, or is this pre-pandemic for you? Um, both. Honestly, I was a little lost with like music as a whole. I was stuck. I was like, "Do I? Re- is this something I really want to do? Because I love it so much." But I just kept doubting myself. So basically, I had to get to the point where I had to realize that I'm great, and the people that uh, mess with me are gonna know that I'm great as well. You know. You guys both to be both seem to be carrying this energy of like positivity through adversity. Cause I don't know about you, but I get frustrated when I get some adversity and I be I get frustrated, you know. But what keeps you positive, Malik? It keeps me positive just like what I've been through and where I'm trying to go. Um I'm about to drop a tape as well called Tesla Music. It's probably it should be out by now. Um 
I just think what keeps me going is just the hunger for more for for us, like trying to keep growing and let people make people proud around you, my neighborhood, my family, just the people that's really supporting me. I think that's what that's the motivation. And knowing that I really got what it takes to make good music. Um, I got a record called Slip and Slide with Young Ross. He was a past winner. I know and, Young Ross uh, from VA. So he reached out to me. Yeah, yeah. So I got a record called Slip and Slide with him. That's going to be the next video that we drop soon. And Tesla Music is out now. So it's just to like forever grind, just really showing the world that I got what it take that I should be one of those ones. Mentioned is like a lyricist as a person who really can paint a picture, draw good music, and cultivate a sound that's not too familiar with the city. Test the music then. Well, congrats on the bo um, both of your new projects, Lost in It All and um, Test the Music. Do you have a Tesla? Well, no, I do not have It's to be played in the Tesla when you get the Tesla. Yeah, the yeah. whole tape is a ride. So it's like, and it's like a big boy sound. It's like upper echelon. So when you get it, you're going to cut it on and just really sit back and vibe with it. Take you a day drive, go anywhere you want to. And just play the tape. It's going to be a whole vibe. It's a feeling you get, like an ambiance you're going to really love about it. That's I. Where can we check you out on social media so we can find out all about Tesla music? At Leek Davon, L-E-E-K-D-A-V-O-N. That should be the same for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And Cam, and tell me. Malik Davon. What, what, one more time? YouTube as well, Malik Davon. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Um, and Cam, tell where can I find out about Lost in It All? Where can I follow you, hit you for those sessions, and everything else? Um, OTR Cam on Instagram, uh, Twitter as well. I also have a YouTube. I respond to my DMs. And... um. Yeah, you can just hit me off there. Lost in it all is on all platforms. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. You can just look up OTI Cam and you can find it. And um, I also have OTI Customs, which is my uh, my business with clothes. And we also vendor. So if you ever need a vendor, you know, you can hit me up up there too. Come on now. Multiple sources of revenue. You said you was in it for business and marketing. You in the right thing. <laughs> well, congratulations to you both. Uh, anybody you want to shout out right quick? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out my whole family, my supporters, my brother Tyrone, my, my producer, Monsoon Jordan, who is um, executive producing the tape. Everybody that was a part of the tape, OTR, Cam, Daryl Washington, GE Washington, um, Big Sam, Corey Alexander, everybody who contributed, all my family, supporters, friends who really called in all those five nights in a row to really tune in and uh, got you saying my name, you know, and the reason that we won. So shout out to everyone. I'm just forever grateful. What about you, Cam? Uh, I just want to shout out my mom, my pops, uh, the whole RT, I mean, the whole OTR gang. And I just want to say, uh, free my cousin, Drew. That's it. Yeah, well, yes, all that. <laughs> <laughs> all that there and then. Uh, well, da -da 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 -da. you guys can check out the full interview on my Instagram story right now. That's at littlebaconbear, at littlebaconbear.com. Officially winners of KYS versus since. This is Malik's song. I'm going to let you do the honors of introducing your record to the DMV one time. Yo, DMV, what's going on? This is Malik Devon. Tesla Music is out now, available on all platforms. This is my first single, Phoenix, featuring OTR Cam. Let's go. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Well done, y'all.